How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the NHL 20 GMO commentary series with the Seattle Kraken right here on the Armchair GM's Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans, for sports fans. And we are here at the uh, first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the 2021-2022 season. We had a massive year with the Seattle Kraken. If you missed the last couple of videos, guys, go check them out. Uh, one through five that are available live on the channel right now. Make sure you're smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button, leave me any comments down below in YouTube comments uh, <laughs> about anything you guys uh, want to see in the in the series. I'm open to anything, so just let me know down in the comments below. But guys, we're here against the Colorado Avalanche in the first round again after having a massive, massive season with the Seattle Kraken. 54-25-3. Finishing first in the Pacific Division, 111 points. That is a huge year. Uh, let's just take a look in the West. Yeah, we are first in the Western Conference by <laughs> by at least six points. So we had a very, very good year. So I th I'm expecting a lot out of the playoffs here. Uh, just take a look quickly at the player stats to show you guys how big of a year it was. Uh, start off with the forwards. Like Anthony Sorelli just leading the way with 74 points. Like that is a, that is a huge, huge year out of this kid. Um... As we go and see here, I think it might be his biggest year of his career. Yeah, it is. So um, the last two years he's been with us, 53 and 52 points. Now jumping up to that 74 point mark. That is very, very big uh, for his career. And he can only get better from here. Uh, we can hope, guys. He's got that high top nine potential that, that could fit in to that second line or possibly that first line. Uh, oops, I backed out too far. But, uh, yeah, big year out of Anthony Sorelli. Jan Clark also had a big year, 72 points. Uh, the biggest one, I think, out of everybody is forced back at Carlson. 30 goals uh, in, in 54 points this year. Um, this is pretty big, especially playing on that first line, Getting knowing that we have a 30-goal score in the NHL. He could go higher. So I think if we keep playing him in that top six, this guy, his the ceiling is... Is very high with uh, Force Back of Carlson, so I, I like it. He takes a lot of shots too, almost 300 shots, and he's putting the puck in the net. So um, I, I'm liking the, the the growth out of Force Back of Carlson. So we're here in the first round against the Colorado Avalanche. Um, so I'm gonna basically do what I, a lot of uh, streamers do with the the Shell series. Is I'm just going to go into the the, the game simulator and we'll sim like that. Um, I won't do any game footage, probably not until if we make the Stanley Cup Finals. Not only is if we go to overtime. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the equipment set up yet for uh, stuff like that. So, uh, but I will have it set up if we make it to the finals, guys. And, and only if we go to overtime, I'll show some footage and I'll see if I can commentate over that. But uh, for now, we'll just do the in-game simulator. Let's take a look at the Colorado Avalanche and see what we're up against in round number one. Let's uh, go over to their lineup here. Colorado. There they are. All right. So they have Taylor Hall. They ended up signing Taylor Hall. I think it was in year two. He, uh, he's, a, he's a free agent. So they have a a just a studly first line of Taylor Hall, McKinnon, and Miko Ranton. This could be trouble for us. This could be the <laughs> the shot that, that, that sinks the ship here in Seattle. So we'll have to uh, work against that line. Line two of Nazem Kadri, Miko Koivu, and Thomas Vanek. So not the greatest second line especially with Thomas Vanek up there but I guess the line chemistry works with these three uh Philpula uh Tyson Yost and Andre Burakovsky and the fourth line of Martin Cote uh JT Comfer and uh looks like a rookie here Shane Bowers uh medium top six uh, he's taken in actually he's taken 2017 first round pick so he's finally developed a little bit of a late bloomer there uh defense what are we working with Makar probably one of the best D-men in the game and then now a 90 overall facing us. Eric Johnson, he's paired up with Gerard Kemp. Uh, Gary Kemp, that is a 2019 uh, first pick. Defensive defenseman, that's big for them. Uh, Ryan Graves and Bowen Byram. So not a bad decor. Uh, who are we working with the net? Uh, Philip Grubauer still, and they still got Frank Hoos. So I mean, it's not the greatest decor, but again, like I said in, or in previous videos, you don't need a strong goalie core to win a Stanley Cup. You can win a cup with like an 83 overall goalie. It all has to do with your offense and defensive chemistry. So it should be an even contest. I don't think we could sweep them or anything like that. It could go, I'm going to say, to game six or game seven. I know their record was 38, 35, and nine. So that's uh, one benefit I think we have going into this. So uh, let's just jump right into it, guys. Game one, not waste any time. Actually, you know what? Just before we do, let me hope, pump the brakes a little bit. Let's take a look at our line combo. I don't think I want to change anything. I think I want to keep force back Carlson Sorelli and Ocpozo. Um Let me just see how Ocpozo did. 
this season. What did he do for? He had 41 points. Not bad. He's a plus 15. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that line chemistry. I think they're good, and I don't think I could switch it with anybody else that would help and be a plus three. I could always do Max Jones, but uh, if Akpoza was not performing for us, you know, I, we'll, we'll con maybe consider Max Jones. Uh, other than that, you know, I, I, might, I think I might just keep it this way, guys. I don't think we need to do anything. No, I don't, I don't want to ruin any more chemistry, so I think we're good for offense. Defense, we're going to keep Krug and Hickey together. As for our bottom pair here, I don't think switching did anything. I think we tried this already, yeah. So uh, we'll keep it like this. And I don't think we have anyone to call up in case. Maybe like a guy like Derek Pouliot, we can look at maybe calling up if he calls up, gets called up. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, and the one thing is, <laughs> I totally forgot. I meant to do it when I started this. Um, I forgot to turn uh, injuries <laughs> back on after simming through the preseason a while ago. So I'm going to turn them back on here. And I think uh, to keep it realistic, I'll turn them on for the playoffs. It's so tough during the regular season because I've done it where I've turned the injuries on. And I put the slider like almost all the way down. I still was getting a plethora of injuries, and it was just taking so much out of the game. So I'll, I'll keep them on for sure for um, uh, for the playoffs. So I'll keep the injuries on, and I'll put the slider down as well. So let me just switch it here, go to the gameplay slider. What do we have injuries set at? So I'm at set at 20. So just in case, we'll put them at 15. That shouldn't be too bad. And then I will have to see what we do with injuries when they do come. So let's go to our first game, ladies and gentlemen. Game one of the Stanley Cup final, or Stanley Cup final, Stanley Cup playoffs between the Colorado Avalanche and our Seattle Kraken. So let's just jump right into it. Simulate, get game one out of the way. So okay, that's good. All right, we'll go period by period, and then we'll do a slow sim for the third. So first period here. Let's have a strong first Seattle. Let's go first period. All right, big, strong first period there by our two centers, our line two and our line three center, Sammy Blaze and Michael Backlund getting it done two minutes apart and putting the puck past Philip Grubauer. So big, strong start, 10 shots to eight. So two goals and 10 shots. That is a start you want to see, guys. And that's, uh, I guess, the, goal, the, the goalies might be the problem for Colorado here. We'll have to see. So second period. All right, so no goals, but 26 to 16 are the shots. We are just peppering Philip Grubauer. So let's go into the uh, super slow slim here and resume play. We'll go uh, minute by minute here. So it looks like we're keeping the shots. And there's a goal. Callie Yarncroc, our sniper. And then Kadri gets one right back like 30 seconds later. So we're up 3-1 here. Can Seattle Kraken get it done here in game one? It looks like we're riding down. Look at the shots, 34 to 24. Late power play here. Can we score? No. Kadri gets a goal on Eric Comrie. 3-2. Are we going to have a... Oh, my God. And Bauer scores. <laughs> he scores late and ties the game with a minute seven. Oh, my God. What a collapse there. Nazem Kadri. Did he get a hat trick this game? No. Okay. So, wow. Two goals. One in the power play late and then a very late goal by Bowers, man. Oh, we had the game log. Look at the shots, 36 to 28. We always had 40 shots. So it is game one, guys. We're going to our first overtime. So let me just sim it down to uh, six times. No, I can't do six. I guess I got to do eight. So here we go, guys. Come on. Seattle Kraken have to have a big overtime here. Come on, boys. Get it together here. I want to see a goal from that top line. I want to see a goal out of Sorelli or Ocpozo or uh, even force back a Carlson here to get the OT winner. So let's go. Resume sim. Getting into overtime. We had a shot right off the bat there. Come on, boys. Get a goal. Power play and OT score. Yes! Let's go, boys. Julius Honka. Uh, not even a power play goal. Must have been right when the power play finished. Right at the point. Julius Honka gets it done for the Seattle Kraken in overtime. At home to the crowd. The 12th man is rocking in Seattle. 40 shots to 32. I guess it would be called the seventh, man. I don't know with hockey. I don't know. But you know the crowd was hot for this. 40 shots to 32. That's insane. But Julius Honka getting the job done. Let's quickly take a look at the three stars. Honka with that first star goal and the assist. Kadri, man, big game for him. Uh, I was shocked no one from that first line scored. And then Sammy Blaze, a goal and assist for him. So both teams secondary getting it done for them. Uh, no, nothing from that top line. So 
Other than that, it's a big first win. I know it was an overtime, but uh, I know we should have won in regulation, especially up 3-1. But uh, it is what it is. We got the W. That's what counts. So we're going to go right into game two here, folks. Let's simulate this. All right. Yep. I don't need to make any changes. It's We're going to worry about uh, after game two here. So let's go right into the game here with our Seattle Kraken and Colorado Avalanche. First period. All right. So no goals in the first period, but we're still doubling them in shots. We got to find a way to put that puck in the net, especially if we have 14 shots in the first period. Come on. We have to have a big second here. We need a goal. At least one goal. Give me one goal. Here we go. Second period. All right, we get two. I wanted one, they give me two. And there he is, guys, Gabriel Landeskog, potentially our future captain. We'll look into that in the offseason. But he gets the first goal for the Seattle Kraken. And then Max Jones on that third line, showing us that maybe if we need to move him up to that top line, he can get it done. And it's a 2 nothing game. Look at the shots, 31-17. to We should definitely win this game, fingers crossed. We'll go into the slow sim and go into the third period. Oh, shoot, I, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh, God, I botched that one, boys. If it doesn't matter, we get the game. <laughs> we get the game, boys. 42 shots on net. We are just peppering. We are a team that comes out flying with shots. We just got to find a way to put the puck in the back of the net. Phil Peel gets a goal for them, but it's not enough. The Seattle Kraken take game number two, two to one, and we go up 2 nothing in the series. And we're going right to the high mountains of Colorado in the Pepsi Center for games three and four. So... After two games, guys, let's take a look here. Um, let's see what's working and what's not. We'll sort by forwards here. And we'll go by goals. I believe everyone just has one goal. No one's leading the team with two goals. So Blaze, Landeskog, Backlander game done, Jones, Yarn Croc. Where is Ocpozo? Ocpozo, he's only had four shots. He's a, a even zero. He's not really doing much for us. He is taking the puck away though. He's not at least he's not giving the puck away. So I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll wait. We'll hold off maybe one more game until we might switch Max Jones up. We'll see. I really want to see what Max Jones could do for us in the playoffs. So let's just sim to uh, game number three here, and uh, we'll see how that goes, and then we'll worry about lineup changes after that. So here you go, guys. Game number three in Colorado. Let's see how we can do. Simulate. Let's go into it here. All right, here we go. First period. All right, so an even first period. They got more shots. The 13A looked like the, the home ice is helping Colorado. Feel like getting a goal for them. But look at this, Kyle Ocpozo. I called him out. One, I see some production out of him. He heard me talking about Max Jones, and he got it done right in the beginning of the period. Two scores, the first goal of the game for the Seattle Kraken. So one goal and eight shots, not bad at all. So let's sim that second period, see what happens. Second period. All right, so no goals, but, oh God, they are killing us in shots this game. What is happening? How do we go from peppering them at home and not being able to shoot on the road? The home ice is really taking it for Colorado. So let's just resume the sim here. I'll make sure I hit the right button this time, and we'll go into the third period. So right away, McKinnon, <laughs> freaking like 40 seconds in, 45 seconds in. Oh, no. And that Bowers guy in that fourth line, he's doing it for them. Then the yard crux scoring, it is a gong show, folks. Colorado with a power play. Ten minutes left. Oh, boy. Can we tie the game late? Come on, Seattle. They're peppering us. And we do it. Michael Backlin. Five minutes left in the third. Oh, no. Another power play. Undisciplined period. And we are going to overtime. The second time in this first round, we're going to overtime. But it's us getting it done and tying the game. Look at that angle of, of Yarncrux scoring. <laughs> must have caught Grubauer off guard. Backlin scoring in the slot. Same with uh, McKinnon. Or is that uh, Bowers there? That's insane. McKinnon, the guy from the first line, getting it done for them. Yarncrux and uh, uh, Backlin and Ocpozo getting it done for us. So... We need a big uh, overtime period here, guys. We need to score early within the first five minutes to get it done. We won the first game in overtime. I know we can get it done, so let's get to it. Overtime, resume the sim. Here we go, boys. Come on. I know they're peppering us in shot, but I know we can get it done. Power play early. Let's go. And we can't get it done. The power plays. And we get a goal, though. And it's the Seattle Kraken, and it's Anthony Sorelli. So two goals from that first line, calling them out. They get it done, and Sorelli gets the overtime goal. And the Seattle Kraken are up three games to zero with a potential sweep 
in game number four. Taking a look at the three stars. Ock Pozo, look at that. One goal, one assist. First star. Yost with the second star for them. And it's Rally with the third star for us. So not a bad uh, game, guys. Another overtime game. Another nail biter. But uh, look at that. Seattle up 3 nothing in the series with Colorado. So and look at that. Landis guy leading the team with four points. So you know what? I, I really don't want to switch up the lines here. I mean, I could switch Okpozo, but he just got a goal for us. But uh, I think we're going to keep him there. But uh, I believe it's Yarncroaks that's been scoring for us. I don't know. Maybe we need to move maybe for his back of Carlson down. But then again, that ruins the line chemistry. There's no one really I could switch him for that would keep both lines at a plus three. It would be Timishov, but uh, Timishov really hasn't done much for us either. So... But that is also another potential move. So if we could, if we wanted to, we could always switch uh, Forzbaka for Timoshov. Because Forzbaka, again, he's the same as Timoshov. He's only gotten one assist. Um, How is he doing for shots? Can we see playoff stats? Eight shots. Uh, it's not the greatest. I mean, you know what? We'll keep him there for now. It's working. We're winning games. We haven't lost yet. So we can't change. We, we don't need to change the system because we're, we're not losing. So... Let's go right into game number four. The away fans that came with us are bringing out the broomsticks for this one, folks. Let's get into it. Simulate. Let's get game number four done. First period. Oh, it's another gong show, folks. But we're up 3-2 with only 11 shots aside. So Sammy Blaze getting it done. Opening goal. Kyle Ocpozo again getting a goal and then Sorelli. So that first line is lighting up. It might not be for back of Carlson, but Sorelli and Ocpozo are definitely uh, doing the job for us. And then Sammy Blaze on that second line, keeping uh, the production value up for the top six. Yost getting a goal and Vanek getting a goal for the uh, Colorado Avalanche. So that second line doing very good for them. And shocking is I, I expect that first line to be doing way better. Um, so let's get into the second period, boys. How do we do in the second Ooh, yikes. So, Bowers again, man. He's a stud. Why is this guy playing fourth line for them? If that was him, I'd be moving him up to the first line because he is getting it done. And Philpula getting the goal. But we are down by one goal going into a very <laughs> intense and exciting third period. Shots are pretty much even. Can Seattle crack and get it done, tie the game, or even win to send the Colorado Avalanche home packing in a sweep? Let's resume simulation. Let's go. Power play. All right, come on. There's a goal. Oh, God, it was a goal by the other team. I thought it was us. But Gray is getting a goal, making a 5-3. Oh, no. And then Yost shorthanded. 6-3. They might have just saved the sweep, boys. Yep, 6-3. There's no way. Oh, we got a power play goal there by Blaze. Uh, can we get two goals maybe? Our team's got the chance to do it. Two minutes. No, it's over. So we lose 6-4 to four with 40 shots on net to the Colorado Avalanche. They're stopping the sweep, but you know what? We have a chance to do it at home. But look at that. Their team just absolutely killed it uh, this game. So, uh, I think we need to make the change, boys. Oh, well, we have an injury. We have to do this first. Oh, no. Tori Krug injured with a sprained ankle. Estimated return April 24th. Yikes. All right. So, we got to fix this here. Um, did we have a defenseman scratch? Yeah, we had Hetherington. Okay. So... This is a big loss for us, guys, are our top defensemen. Now we got to find someone to go in with Hickey. So, Honka does make it a, a plus three. Let's see what uh, Spurgeon does. You know what? It might be Spurgeon. I don't think anyone else makes it a, that makes it a negative one. So, not him. And Udivara makes it a plus three. Okay. So, for now, we'll put Spurgeon up there. So, we'll put Spurgeon here. Now, Honka... With Nunivar makes it a plus one. With high check makes it a plus one. So we'll put high check up there for now. And let's put Hetherington in here. So I don't think we're going to get a plus three moving anybody around. No. Okay. So we'll have to keep it like this. So Spurgeon and Hickey, high check and Honka. And uh, Spurgeon and Hickey, they're two right handers. I don't think high check works up there. No. Okay. So Nudivar is a left hander, though. Hmm. No, I'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. Uh, it wants us to fix an extra line. This really doesn't matter. It's probably the extra attacker. Yeah. Uh, this could be anybody. Let's just put Timishov there. Okay. There we go. All right. So 
Now that we lost that game, maybe we 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 move out or force back a Carlson, but he has three assists. He, he's becoming more the playmaker than the sniper. If we'd move Timoshov, it still is a plus three. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. We'll put Timoshov up there. Uh, we'll put Okpozo on the right because he's a right, uh, right wing. Left, right, left. Force back Carlson on the right here. So there we go. I don't think moving anybody else makes it a plus three at all. No, okay, so we'll keep it like this. So we'll move Force Backer Carlson down. Maybe it'll help him a little bit, and he'll uh, uh, help Max Jones and, and Michael Backlund. Blaze, we're keeping there. He's doing fine. Uh, Yarn Croak, we're going to keep there. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Let me just see. No, okay. So we'll try this out. Timisha, Sorelli, Okpozo, Yarn Croak, Blaze, and Landis Gog. We'll see how that goes. So we'll exit out of this. And we'll go into game number five at home at the Climate Pledge Arena. Crowd will be rocking, wanting for us to end this series and win it four games to one. So here we go, boys. Can we get it done in game number five at home? We should. We peppered them at home the first two times. Let's see if we can do it in this one. First period, one nothing. All right, big first period, 11 to 7 shots. High check, getting the goal, moving up on that second D pairing. Looks like it sparked something in him, so that is a big first opening goal. 11 shots to 7. Let's get into that second period. Second period. All right, we got another goal. Gabriel Landeskog on the power play, boys. Let's freaking go. The possible future captain of this team getting it done and sending it to eight or sending it to two at nothing. But look at the shots. 24 to 18 for Colorado. So they came back in shots. Eric Comrie getting it done between the pipes for us. So let's just go into the slow sim. Can the Seattle Kraken get it done and move on to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs? Early power play for Colorado. And it was a long one. It was a five-minute. Oof, someone got ejected. Uh, okay, went, come on, Seattle. Hold on. Colorado is peppering Comrie here. And they got a goal. Tyson Yost. Oh, man. I'm going to pause it here. 7.22 left. And Yost puts Colorado within one. <laughs> Ten shots more than we have. We only have 22 shots. Come on, boys. Help Comrie out. Let's get an insurance goal. Seven minutes to go. Let's go. Come on, Seattle. Here we go. He's winding it down. Three, two, one. And there it is. The empty net goal. Gabriel Landeskog, boys. And the Seattle Kraken. We move on to round number two. Getting outshot 36 to 28. But Gabriel Landeskog. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. And look at that. Eric Comrie getting that first star of the game. A 972 point or save percentage in a one. 0 .00 goals against average guys. I told you, Eric Comrie is our goalie, like for our starting goalie. I know he can get it done. Uh, Gabriel Landeskog, two goals, making that second star and high check with that one goal, three hits for that third star. Huge, huge game, folks, and we're moving on to that second round, winning four games to one in game number five. Let's just quickly take a look at the stats here. Five games, seven points for Mr. Landeskog, our potential future captain getting it done. Uh, Sammy Blaze up there with him as well. Sammy Blaze is proving to us on that second line that he he can get it done if uh, Sorelli would ever to get injured on that first line. Knock on wood. Uh, Jan Krug doing good. Backlund keeping up there. Sorelli. Uh, Jones showing he has three points. So for his back of Carlson, that's all right. But we moved Timoshov up. And we'll see how that goes. Other than that, everyone else is, is doing normal for, for playoff hockey bottom six. Uh, Honka getting it done for us, uh, leading the way with two points. Although, Tory Crew, now that he's injured, uh, hopefully we can get him back by the next round. That would definitely help. Uh, Colby Hickey getting his first playoff point. Good for him. And then goalies, guys. Eric Comrie, a 918 save percentage and a 270 goals against average. Stellar performance back there, I think. I think we can definitely uh, tip our hats to Eric Comrie uh, in this playoff so far. So, uh, there's April 24th. So, it looks like we might get uh, Krug back for game number one. So, let's just sim uh, ahead here. It looks like our AHL squad uh, did move on to the second round as well. So, good for them. Let's just sim a few games here. And Tory Krug is ready to come back. So, he's. Uh, I'm going to wait a few days until he's fully healthy. Because uh, we haven't even found our second round, our second round uh, opponents just yet. So let's just keep going here. All right, NHL playoffs rounds complete. Let's see who we face in the second round of the playoffs. Who can it be? The Vegas Golden Knights, the <laughs> 31st expansion team in the playoffs. Look at their record. This is going to be a tough, 
tough series. Wow. So we go up against the Vegas Golden Knights in the second round of the playoffs. This is going to be a barn burner, folks. So let's quickly just see uh, how they did and how the the, uh, the rest of the first round did in the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs here. No playing rounds this in this playoff, guys. Uh, so Nashville won four games to two against Chicago. Uh, Dallas swept the Vancouver Canucks. So Vegas won 4-2 against Edmonton. So that's not bad. And we won 4-1 against Colorado. Taking a look at the East, uh, Pittsburgh won 4-2. Uh, the Rangers beat uh, the Capitals in Game 7. Oh, man, the Leafs got swept by Boston. They just can't seem to find to end that curse. And then Ottawa beating uh, Florida. That's cool. So Boston's going to face uh, Ottawa, and then Pittsburgh's going to face the New York Rangers. So we'll play the winners of Dallas and Nashville in the West Final if we do make it there. But, uh, guys, we're in for a real treat of a series against the Vegas Gold Knights, and that'll be in the next video. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this first round of the Seattle Kraken in the NHL GM Mode commentary series with the Seattle Kraken. Make sure you're smashing that like button, leaving me comments down below, and importantly, subscribing. Hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the Armchair GM Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans for sports fans. I'll see you guys in the next video.